Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. Uh, let's have a look at the new Extreme Quest for Pine. And uh, yeah, you might have heard in my series review, but I think Pine is very worth making the Max Luck of. Uh, she's a powerful drop monster. Um, and then uh, gimmicks here, there's only one really, and that is uh, Blocks. And I was looking at the, uh, the Game With site, the uh, Japanese uh, kind of strategy site, and uh, they recommend going for big uh, bump combos. Um, so that you don't, so that the bump combos can go, you know, through the blocks and damage the boss. Um, their reasoning is that it'll be easier to do that than to go for physical attacks, um, because the blocks can uh, block our movement, of course. Um, I saw that, and I was uh, skeptical. <laughs> I particularly like uh, no-block uh, characters. I think they're a lot of fun. Um, so I initially tried a few times using all no-block characters. Uh, that didn't turn out too well, actually. Um, so I went for the, um, I kind of went for a compromise. Um, a few guys with uh, good bump combos, and then a few guys with uh, no block. Um, so to talk about the team that I'm using, first I'm using a Kamai Tachi Ascension. And uh, his uh, evolution form usually gets more uh, attention. Uh, you know, high speed, critical luck skill, and the uh, strong blast bump combo. Uh, but the Ascension is very... Uh, he is unique, actually, in that he is a Pierce with a uh, Null Block. And um, he's going to be the only drop monster with that combination for quite a while. Um, so, if you were interested in, uh, you know, playing this stage in particular or other block stages, uh, like floor 35 of the tower, um, I could highly recommend uh, Kamaitachi Ascension. And uh, because he is a Pierce, he can move anywhere. And so his main job is going to be to hit my other characters to set off uh, their bump combos. Uh, next I am using uh, Kushinada Zero. Uh, she is another uh, no block character, uh, but she is a bounce, so she's a little bit less uh, mobile. And uh, she also has a, a decent uh, bump combo, uh, which uh, Kamaitachi would be good to uh, set off. And I was really debating whether to use Kushinada Zero or uh, Mika Ascension. Uh, Mika Ascension is another no block character, and uh, she has the Blast Bump combo, uh, which would really work good with this team since there are a lot of uh, strong bump combos. Um, I eventually went for Kushinada Zero just because um, she's an impossible monster and I wanted to show her off. <laughs> and then uh, finally, we're coming to our two uh, Hatcher monsters. First is a uh, Mundus Transcendent. Uh, he is a Pierce with a uh, strong homing bump combo and a um, Delay Strike Shot, uh, both of which are very powerful uh, here. And um, yeah, since there are no laser barriers or homing absorbers on this mission, uh, we can use either strong lasers or strong homing, so uh, both Mundus and uh, Loki are okay. And uh, Loki is the, uh, the star here. Um, if I were to recommend an overpowered team, I would say as many Lokis as you can get and then uh, Kamaitachi Ascension. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he has the uh, lock-on one-way laser, he is a blast type, and then in addition he is a um, dark element, so he'll do extra damage against everybody here. Um, so yeah, basically the technique is to um, you know get out as many bump combos as I can every turn. Uh, the most difficult thing about this stage though is uh, Pine's, um, I guess, bomb attack. Um, so yeah, here it is actually. It's uh, very, very damaging, and uh, if you consistently get hit by it, uh, it's going to be very difficult to uh, win this mission consistently. Um, the best way to avoid it is to keep really close to Pine. Uh, those bombs never drop uh, near Pine. Um, and that's kind of the, uh, the short version of that uh, technique. Uh, the longer version would be to you know position your guys the previous stage in a good place, um, so that you would start out near Pine and away from the bombs. Um, so on this first boss stage, we would want to be on the upper right of the screen. Uh, for the uh, stage after this, uh, we would want to be in the lower left-hand corner. And uh, this can be a little bit difficult to kind of uh, move your guys around uh, with the blocks, uh, which is pretty much the uh, the main challenge of this mission. Right, I'm going to try very hard to grab this heart. Okay, very good. 
and actually we managed to get uh, most of our guys in the lower left hand corner, so uh, this will make the next stage a lot easier. Okay, Loki is uh, inside the block, so we'll just uh, keep him there. And um, yeah, my Loki has a um, um, a, a knockout Ableberry, <laughs> so that's nice to uh, skip some attacks there. Uh, yeah, Pine does not have any uh, close range attacks, like a short spread or uh, anything like that, so it's okay to be uh, right next to her. Okay, so there our positioning was good enough that we could uh, pass the stage without the uh, bombs falling at all, so uh, that's ideal. And then uh, finally we would like on the last stage for our characters to be in the uh, upper left hand corner. So we'll see if we can manage that. Um, again, difficult to do with uh, non Null block characters. Whoops. <laughs> uh, Kushinada Zero has an impossible uh, speed gauge, which is a little bit faster, uh, which is why I missed the gauge shot there, did not pick up the heart. And then I uh, kind of put her in a bad positioning. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, so last stage, I'm going to try to move my guys as close to Pine as possible. Uh, right now, all of my guys are kind of in the uh, blast radius, so uh, we need to act quickly. Uh, but yeah, especially for uh, bounce characters, with all these blocks and enemies around, uh, it's difficult to uh, get where you want to be. Okay, I think one more turn before the bombs come out, so let's see if I can move anybody out of position. Yikes! Okay, <laughs> so pretty big damage there. Uh, let's see if we can use uh, Mundus' uh, delay strike shot to hit Pine and then uh, save ourselves from the uh, next attack. So we're going to hit the blocks a lot and finally enter the boss's area, so... We'll delay that attack and live to fight another day. And then uh, with Loki, we're going to use the strike shot. It is a tackle strike shot, uh, just to stick to the boss and then um, in improve his positioning. So yeah, positioning is now excellent, so we'll just go and hit uh, bump combos. And that'll do it. Alright, so that was uh, Pine. Uh, kind of a difficult mission. Uh, but um, yeah, a mix of strong bump combos and then no block characters uh, would be ideal. And then again, a, a good character to uh, get the uh, max luck of. Alright, thanks for watching. Take care.